You made me wait for two weeks and then tell me that you're going to ditch me. What the hell? How are you going to live by yourself? Marta is a housewife. She's 27 years old. She's been married to Albert for a few years. She just gave birth to a beautiful baby. She was so relieved that the baby came out healthy. The nurse took the baby away to clean. Marta started to suddenly feel very tired. Nurse came back with the baby. She is now clean up. You're the father, right? Would you mind holding her? Albert didn't comply. He was just standing still and saying something but Marta was not focusing on their conversation so she couldn't figure out what he said. What's wrong, Albert? Why are you holding the baby? What did you say? Albert didn't say anything and left the room. Doctors and nurse looked very shocked of Albert's attitude. Marta was confused as well, but she got unconscious. The next moment, Marta got conscious. She was in a different room inside the hospital. Marta had to stay in the hospital for the next few days, but Albert never visited her. According to the nurse, he was actually coming to the hospital and seeing the baby, but not Marta. Marta had no idea what's going on until Albert sent her a message. Message said, he wants to talk about divorce once she is out of the hospital. Marta wanted to ask why but Albert will never explain to her. Since Marta was shocked by his message, it took a few more extra days for her to recover and be out of the hospital. Marta came back from the hospital. Albert was not there. She checked the closet and found out that he took a couple of belongings with him, which means he is probably staying somewhere else. Marta decides to call Albert. Hey, I'm out of the hospital. I just came home. Please come to my parents' place this week at around 1 p.m. We need to talk. You didn't explain to me anything. What's going on? I will explain to you on the weekend. On the weekend, Marta visited Albert's parents' place with her parents. Albert opened the door, smirking. I just got the result to come in. Result of what? Marta had no idea what he was talking about but followed Albert. When they sat on the couch in the living room, Albert placed an envelope on the table. Here's the result. I'm asking what result? It's a result of the gene. Marta was puzzled. Huh? Oh yeah, that reaction is suspicious. I'm confused. Why do you have to check that kind of... Of course I had to. To get an evidence that you are cheating on me. Albert continued to smirk. He pulled out some documents inside the envelope. Marta looked on it. Look at this. It said that a child and I are not blood related. Wait, are we? Marta couldn't understand what's going on. Albert's parents were trying to calm him down. I don't understand what you're trying to do. Why did you thought that I am cheating on you to begin with? Oh, because you acted really weird when I mentioned it. What? When I saw the baby, I asked you. The baby doesn't look like me at all. Did you cheat on me? What? You said such a thing that time. Yes, I did and you look so pale and look away. Wait, I ask you what? Pretend like you did. Marta suddenly got the bigger picture and started to get angry. Hey, do you understand how hard it is to give birth to a baby? Did you also heard from the doctor that I was bleeding a lot? I would of course look pale in that situation. Wait, wait. I'm saying that I never cheated on you. According to Albert, he was googling about pregnancy then randomly find stories related to childbirth. One of the stories was about a couple who just got a baby. When the husband said to the wife that he doesn't think that the baby looks like him at all, wife suddenly broke down and confessed that she was cheating on him. That story was giving the tips that right after the birth woman will be tired and might confess up, so it's the best timing to ask. You followed that stupid story. The baby doesn't look like me at all. Are you serious? Look at this photo. Marta showed a photo of the baby on her phone. Both of the parents looked into it. Albert's mother went to grab a photo album of Albert. She spread it in front of everyone. Yeah, look at this. This baby is so similar to when Albert was young. Wait, you look so similar. Now, did you see this? Baby is yours. Oh no, 
What have I done? Albert looked really depressed. His parents were trying to cheer him up. Marta realized that she doesn't love him anymore. So I want to talk about compensation. Wait, we don't have to divorce. The baby is mine. Huh, you think what you did was okay? Oh, of course. I feel really sorry about this. I'm really sorry. I'm going to apologize. We are very sorry about what our son did. Would you please forgive him, Marta? I need a few days to think. We can meet again to discuss it after I reach a conclusion. There was something which made Marta suspicious about Albert. She thought that usually in this case, Albert must be mad about her but he was smirking all the time. She decided to hire a private detective to check about Albert. After about two weeks, the detective figured out that Albert was cheating on Marta with a co-worker. Albert must be excited to pull all the blame on Marta the divorce and then get together with his co-workers to get compensation money from her. That must be why he was smirking and looking happy instead of getting mad. That weekend, both of the family gathered together. So Marta, are you going to forgive our son? I'm very sorry, but I still want to proceed with the divorce. Why? Explain us the reason. Albert was regretting a lot during this past two weeks. Yeah, he was so sorry for you. Suddenly, Albert started to get into the conversation in an angry tone. You made me wait for two weeks and then tell me that you're going to ditch me. What the hell? How are you going to live by yourself? You don't even have an income. You need me. Why don't you want a divorce that much? Is it because you don't want to pay for the child? No, no, I don't want to be far apart from my child. Martha, that doesn't make any sense. Of course Albert has love towards his own child. Hey guys, take a look at this. Martha spread it several photos on the table. It was a photo of Albert hanging out with his co-worker. He was going into a love hotel with her. And on the other photo, he was going into Martha and Albert's home with his co-worker. Albert's parents were speechless. This is... Yes, it's the evidence of him cheating on me. Albert turned pale. Albert was cheating on me with his co-worker. That's why he thought it was a chance when he was believing that I cheated on him. However, I was innocent, so his plans didn't work out. Marta looks towards Albert. She continued with a cold look. Anyhow, I'm divorcing you. My lawyer will contact you about the compensation and child care. Albert didn't want to sign the paper for divorce but his parents forced him to. His parents kept apologizing to Marta. It's not her fault. It's all Albert's fault. Later on, Marta got compensation from both Albert and his co-worker. Both of them lost reputation at work and the girl quit. They shortly broke up. Because Albert had to pay debt, he had to stay at his work even he had a bad humor there. Marta got a job through her friend and working hard to support her child. She loves her child and enjoying her life.